This episode is brought to you by the Introvert Dating Success Membership Academy, opening on November 1st. Join the waitlist and get your free PDF, The Girlfriend Roadmap Checklist, at introvertdatingsuccess.com. Stay till the end for more information. What up, IDS Mob? Harry Wilmington here. Welcome to the Introvert Dating Success Show. And today, we actually are going to be answering a listener's comment. So this is a guy that's hit a situation that I'm sure a lot of you have faced, whereby you've met a woman and... You're, you seem to have a good vibe with her. She's talking to you. You're talking back and things are going great. And then when you ask her out, she says that she's talking to somebody else. But yet she's still continuing to interact with you. What do you do at that point? Do you keep trying to talk to that person or do you let it be? Let's get into this guy's question and answer it for you. So he goes, hi, Harry. Nice content. Thank you. Uh, let's see what you think. I have been chatting and talking in person to this woman. I see her at the gym almost every day. I already asked her out once, and she told me she was talking to someone, which is fine. That tells me she is loyal, even if she doesn't have a boyfriend. But she still talks to me super nice and still replies to my text. I like her a lot, and for some reason, she also shows some kind of interest. I am reducing the chat, and I'm planning to keep our conversations in person. What do you think uh, should I do here? Just give up because she is already talking to someone or try somehow to invite her one more time. Okay, so I can understand how you could be fooled by her actions because on one hand, she's telling you that she's talking to somebody, yet on the other hand, she's still interacting with you. And this is a very important lesson for men to learn, all right? Because here's the thing, women are typically nice to everybody because they typically tend to be friendly. They're communal or more communal than guys are in terms of wanting to make sure that everybody's on the same kind of ground and everybody feels good and their needs are met. And so part of that is being friendly. The problem is this, and this is where the correlation differs between men and women, is that for men, if we're being nice to a woman, more often than not, the purpose of that niceness is because you find them attractive and you want to get with them. And so you're going to typically treat those women a lot nicer than you would a woman that you didn't find attractive, right? But here's the problem, is that in doing so, you, your agenda, you're projecting your agenda onto the woman, meaning your agenda is saying, I'm nice to this person and I'm talking to this woman in particular because I find her interesting and attractive and I think we should we could do well together. And therefore... I, I, there would be no purpose of me talking to her unless I actually liked her or saw connection. And so then you're projecting onto her and thinking, well, because you're, that's how you're operating, that she's operating the same way, that because she's talking to you, because she's walking across the gym to say hi to you or to spend time interacting with you, that she must have the same agenda. So in other words, your like for her is causing you to think that because the actions that you're doing are because you like her, that the actions that she is doing must also mean that she likes you in a romantic sense. And I'm here to tell you that's not true. Because here's the thing, guy. Women that like you help you. Women that find you attractive and interesting cannot help but to do things that will get them in your arena and also allow you to take them out. So you got to think about this, all right? Think about the actions that have been set forth here. You expressed that you wanted to take her out. And her response was that she's talking to somebody else. Is this an action that allows you to, to now go out with each other and spend solo time with each other? The answer is no. Now, you haven't probably seen this other guy she's talking to. Could this be a lie? Could she have just said that because she didn't want to go out with you? Absolutely. Either way, whether it's true or not, the point is she put something out there that let you know, in a nice way, by the way, that she is not interested in seeing you anywhere else beyond this gym. Now, again, you're thinking, but then why would she keep talking to me? This goes back to what I previously said, is that women are friendly, women are nice. Women can actually have male friends that they don't find attractive and still talk to. In their head, they're pretty much castrating you. Like, you're not actually somebody she would legitimately hook up with, but you know what? You're like one of her girlfriends. You're nice to talk to. She can come to you and gossip about stuff, and you guys are at the gym together, so at least you are a comfortable presence that she's cool with at the gym, but there have been no actions that actually indicate she'd want to do more with you beyond just see you at the gym, because if she did want to see you 
outside of the gym. She wouldn't have brought up that she's talking to somebody else. And at the point where you asked her to go someplace, there would be literally no hesitation. Like you would be able to say, hey, let's go out sometime. And her response would be great. Here's my phone number. Here's my social media. I like these kind of foods and places. What kind of idea were you thinking about? Like you've gotten those kind of questions. You would have seen a level of giddiness in her that you probably have not seen before because women that like you, when you ask them out, they are legitimately giddy because they, they can't, their body can't help but let you know how excited that they are that you asked them out. If you're not getting that kind of response, it's because she's not interested in that, okay? So, um, see if there's anything else I'm missing here. So yeah, she's still replying to your text, fantastic. Texting is digital communication. It is not a way to actually like spread emotions to another person. And more importantly, you being on the phone with her is the same thing she would do with like her girlfriends. What we need her to do is get off the phone and see you in person on a one-on-one -on -one date which would further indicate that she has an actual attraction to you and wants to go out with you. Now, with all that said, is there a shot here? Do you, is there a possibility that maybe she stops talking to this other person? Because the talking stage isn't super serious, but again, the fact that she brought it up, not a good sign for you. So here's the thing. You've already asked her out. She said that she's talking to somebody else, so she's that means in girl speak, she's really not interested at the moment. So... You have a couple of options. You could try to lessen your approaching her at the gym, meaning that when you go there, you're not seeking her out to talk to her, but you're going straight to your machine, you're doing your own thing, and then let her be the one to start coming to you. And after a while, subconsciously, she'll, she might start to think, every time he comes to the gym, I'm seeking him out. Why is that? Maybe it's because I like him. I should give this thing a shot. At which point, if she wants to go out with you, she has a mouth and she can make requests she can come to you and say, hey, so I was thinking of going to this thing one day. Maybe you can come with me. At which point you can say, I don't know. I mean, you say you're talking to this other guy. Like, you know, is that still going on or whatever? But like, I, and this is important for guys to know too, is that for those of you that have not experienced a woman having high interest in you, again, I cannot stress how much women will come to you. Women will actually seek you out and be in your presence and let you know that they're around and then actually do things like uh, high, uh, mentioning that they'd like to do a thing and that they have nobody else to go with and if you're free and all this other stuff. And so this is where I always tell you guys, if she's chasing you, she can't be replacing you. But if she's not coming to you at all, dude, then there's no shot. But again, so if you're at the gym, just don't go over to her, let her come to you. And then at some point, if she starts talking that talk that indicates that she'd like to hang out with you in a solo situation, fantastic. But other than that, you've already asked her out. Women do not like it when they've gently told a guy in their own way that they're not interested and the guy keeps coming to them. And I know we get fooled by movies and television shows where the guy tries for like six seasons to go out with a woman and then finally at season seven, she's like, okay, let's go out and then they end up happily ever after. That's fairy tale land. That's not really what's happening. What's actually happening in real life is the more you pester her, the more she's trying to think of nice ways to like, not have you ask her out anymore. And then when that doesn't work, she just completely ghosts you. In this case, you'll probably stop going to the gym altogether or try to figure out the days that you're going so she won't be there. And you don't need that, all right? So leave her alone for now. Just stick to doing your own thing at the gym. If she comes over, great. If not, I, I hopefully that gym has other women that you can talk to. But also kudos for you just to be able to even like meet somebody at the gym and talk to them. Because as an introvert, I still don't like to do the whole cold approach thing. But you know, if you're able to make that happen, fantastic, okay? But don't let this one incident discourage you. The fact that she's still talking to you and being friendly, that's a positive. So take it as a positive experience from a woman that gave you an overall good time in terms of conversation, but ultimately isn't trying to like date you in that way. And that's perfectly fine. We all have our own choices. If you're not her choice this time, there'll be another woman at the gym that will be your choice. Just like there'll be other women out there in real life that would like to date you as well. All right. So hopefully guy, this helps you out, but yeah, don't, don't bug her anymore. Just like, you know, don't let it bug you. It's part of the dating game. You're as a guy. Re the reality is you're going to probably ask out a lot of women to be able to get like a short, a few that will want to go out with you. And that's whether you're, you know, average looking or hyperly attractive, the, the averages are like, you still got to ask out a bunch of people to and make it shoot your shot to be able to 
eventually date the woman that you want. But the nice thing is, once you find that one person that wants to date you, then like you're, all the other girls that get rejected you, you won't even think about them anymore. I'm telling you, I'm 40. I know this at this point, all right? So hopefully this helps you out. For the rest of you guys, uh, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel at uh, youtube.com slash Harry Wilmington. Also, if you want to show your monetary thank yous, you can leave super chats at YouTube or you can go to uh, introvertdatingsuccess.com and click on the tip drive tab. Also guys, uh, coming November 1st, I'm opening up the Introvert Dating Success Membership Academy. This is gonna be like the Netflix of dating advice, whereby you will be able to have access to hundreds of hours of information about how to meet, greet, attract, land the woman of your dreams, how to handle conflict resolution, how to text them, the things that you're probably doing right now to try to get women that causes you to actually lose them. We got a bunch of shows that I've done with uh, other dating experts in the coaching field. And it's just, it's so much awesome stuff that I've just amassed over years that's gonna be in this one, one membership site for a very low monthly price, all right? So if that's something that interests you, do yourself a favor, go to introvertdatingsuccess.com right now and sign up for the waitlist. When you do, you'll get a free PDF, the Girlfriend Roadmap Checklist. This is a 10-step checklist that you can use in your journey of attracting the woman to taking on dates all the way to getting into a relationship. If you've been lost on how to do that, this maps it out to where within the span of three months, you'll go from just dating her to being in a relationship. Again, you can get that by joining the uh, Introvert Dating Success Membership Academy waitlist at introvertdatingsuccess.com. Thanks for watching this episode. I'm Harry Wilmington. Be sure to share this with your friends and other people you know, and be sure to like this video as well. And I'll catch you guys on the next episode. I'm out, peace. Thanks for listening to the Introvert Dating Success Podcast. Visit us at introvertdatingsuccess.com for more great tips on attracting women using your natural introvert charm. Oh, yeah.